Chapter 2. I Come with a Sword Before you can enter into that peace which passeth all understanding, you must first be slain of all the illusions that now enslave you, the illusions of divisions. If you are identified with race, creed, or color, and hear that with which you are identified, criticized, and condemned, you will be automatically hurt by such criticism. Every attachment is a bar in your self-created prison. Your only escape lies in non-attachment. You must leave all and follow me. In Christ there is neither Greek nor Jew bond nor free. Your present attachments are rooted in you because of your present conception of yourself. Your conception of yourself is the measuring rod by which you measure the world. All things are judged in relationship to your present conception of yourself. Every man's conception of himself is a vibrant note in the cosmic symphony, which note automatically determines the value of all notes in relationship to itself. Change your conception of yourself. Revalue yourself, and you will automatically change your world. Man has always played the losing game by attempting to change his world, while he himself remained with his present values or conceptions of himself. Jesus discovered this law. So instead of changing men, he changed himself. He said, And now I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. He found himself to be the truth of all that he saw his world to be. Truth is the sword that slays all but itself, and I am, your awareness, is the truth. Therefore, to be identified with anything other than being is to be enslaved, or limited by that with which you are identified. You eternally objectify that which you are conscious of being, so you forever move in a world that is the perfect personification of that which you know yourself to be. To the pure, all things are pure. This is a great hurdle to those who are constantly condemning the world. There is therefore no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus. It is recorded that the crowds left Jesus when he revealed the working of the law in these words, no man cometh unto me save the Father in me draw him, and I and my Father are one. They could not believe that they were the cause of all they saw their world to be. After thousands of years it is still the great stumbling block to all who see the world as something to be changed on the outside. You and your conception of yourself are one. Your conception of yourself is the image you have made of your Father. This image fashions your world in your likeness, be it good, bad, or indifferent. Your Father is your awareness who limits you to that which you are aware of being. If you would change your world, do so in truth, by knowing yourself to be all you see the world to be. You are not what you are because of anything in the world. On the contrary, the world is what it is because of what you are. The what being the measure or value you have placed upon yourself. In short, your conception of yourself is the mold the conceiver, your true self, uses to people your world. Begin to transform the world by claiming yourself to be that which you desire to see expressed in the world. Follow the example of Jesus who made himself one with God and found it not strange or robbery to do the work of God. Freedom is not won by the sweat of the brow. Stop wrestling with the world. It is only a reflector. Jacob was freed only as he loosed that with which he wrestled. Likewise, you will be free only as you follow his example and loose your problem by not identifying yourself with it. For that which is bound in heaven, consciousness, is bound on earth, and that which is loosed in heaven is loosed on earth. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. I am the truth. So in reality to know yourself the conditioned, is to be free from that which in your blindness you believed yourself to be. Leave all and just be me.